Let's take a look how to rotate 3D Chrome logo on an XYZ axis in After Effects. Step 1, create a new composition, rename it. I'm gonna go with 1080p. Duration is gonna be 5 seconds, black background, click OK. Select the Type tool, type in something. Press the letter S, scale it up. By the way, I went with the Noya Haas Grow Task, a black italic. Also make sure that the anchor point is in the center of the text. If it's not in the center, you can press and hold Alt and double click here on the pen behind. And as you can see, the anchor point is going to jump into the center. And let's go back to the text layer and we're going to go and activate the 3D. Click on the cube and activate the 3D settings. Now, if you don't have these settings going on, you can go and click on the toggle switch and it's going to switch up the settings. Let's go to the 3D settings. Make sure that you're on advanced 3D. Active camera. I'm going to go with custom view one right now. Let's go to the geometric options. Let's go to extrusion depth and I'm going to increase it. And here I can see in 3D how it's going to look. I'm also going to go to the bevel style and I'm going to change it to angular decrease the bevel depth 0 0.3. I'm going to go to the material options, scroll down, and I'm going to go to the specular shininess, increase it all the way to 100%. And now it is going to look metallic. Also make sure to activate the cast shadows to be on. And I'm going to collapse these. Also this one right here. And I'm going to collapse everything. And I'm going to open it up again. Now you can see the XYZ rotation. And I'm going to go back to the default. And if I go to the Y rotation and I rotate it from here, you can see it is going to rotate from the X axis, basically from here at this point. But the axis is going to need to be in the center. So I'm going to go back to zero right now and I'm going to go to the camera, change it to left. So here you can see it clearly. And here we're going to go to the anchor point. And I'm going to go to the last zero, zero, and I'm going to drag it and check this out. It is going to start to position the XYZ rotation somewhere in the center. Right now it's four. I can add 3.3. Let's go back to the camera view default. And I'm going to go to the Y rotation. Make sure that you're at the beginning here. Activate the stopwatch at the Y rotation. I'm going to go at the end and I'm going to go to the zero here. Add one. And this is going to rotate at 360 degree angles. And I'm also going to select this anchor point and push it all the way out. And if you bring it back, hit play, it is going to rotate it perfectly from the center. If you want to make this rotate faster, you can bring this anchor point a little bit more in. I'm going to go actually to the third second. Why not? I'm also going to go to the work area and bring it into the third second. Let's see what happens. It rotates faster. But I'm going to leave it on five. You also can add more 3D shading on this text. So I'm going to go right click here, new and select light. I'm going to go to the light type, select environment. Make sure to check cast shadows and click OK. Now we got more shadows going on and it looks way more realistic. And that's how you can rotate your Chrome logo here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.